Go Hawks. <laughs> Go Hawks. Oh yeah, Go Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs> yeah, Go Hawks. All right, now listen. You know, your life may actually depend on this. Oh, wait a second. Hey, Go Hawks. Yeah, huh? Yeah, you too. <laughs> uh, uh, what were we talking about? Welcome to Code 5 Art. This is the channel where I'm diving into the world of graffiti and street art and breaking it down to digestible pieces so that we can all learn how to do some art together. Now today, I'm doing a tribute piece to the university I went to. I went to the University of Iowa, where we are called the Hawkeyes, and therefore we always say to each other, no matter where we are in the world, go Hawks. It's probably the same like any other sports team in the entire world. So I've actually been excited about this piece for a long time. I got this sketch that I put together a little while back and I'm gonna I'm gonna blow it up onto the size of my mural, which is um, which is eight feet by twelve feet long. But don't worry, if you're not an Iowa fan, that's okay. I got some content here for you. I'm gonna talk about how I take a little sketch, this this little sketch and make it big and keeping proportions onto the giant mural wall. And how I did that was using grids. So if we look closely, look closely on my image, I measured out the size of everything and I put halfway marks to make a grid. And I know where each and every piece crosses the grid lines. And I'll show you how I did that on the mural too and was able to create a good sketch to start off my painting. So when you look at this time lapse, you see that I already have some part of the grids already marked out. So I measure out how big I want the letters are, and I slowly start to understanding where I need to put the I, the O, the W, and the A. So I go ahead and start uh, the pieces on the I, and a little bit of the accents, and the O goes right in the middle. And then I just go ahead and finish off the letters, make sure they're right. And I use sidewalk chalk, so I just use a wet rag to cross off the sketches that I don't need anymore. Bingo, bango, done. I've got a sketch and I'm ready to paint. Wow. Dribble, dribble, drop, drop. Next can. Pop it. Thank you, Thomas, for letting me have another can.
All right, awesome. That turned out so much better than I was expecting. It um, it all came together at the end and everything is just, it fits the mural perfectly. Now, if you like what's going on here, just subscribe and like, and we can continue on this journey together. I actually plan on doing some more of these school tributes because I have a lot of, a lot of friends and family that have already messaged me and saying that they, hey, how about you do my school? So stick around and I'll probably do some of those depending on my time. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. You guys made it to the end of the video. So thank you for your time. You guys have a good day and go out, go out and create some art yourself. All right. Have a good one.